Dollar General Stock, ticker symbol DG. Is this the best dividend growth stock to buy right now? This stock is down 17% on the year to date chart, while the overall market, in this case the S&P 500, is up roughly 8%, so that's a big difference. On the 16th of March, Dollar General presented quarter results where they beat on EPS but missed on revenue. On the 1st of June, the new earnings will be presented, and all 19 announces expect a miss, so that's pretty interesting. From a dividend point of view, things look pretty interesting, with dividend yields sitting at 1.13%, which is not that high of course. But payout ratio is really low, and the 5-year growth rate is really high, so it could have a lot of potential. But does this mean that dollar general stock is a buy at current prices? Well, in this video I'm going to show you real quickly what Dollar General does. The earnings report, the fundamental analysis, dividends, returns versus the S&P 500, comparison versus some major competitors, and in the last part I'm giving you my price target to see if there are a buy or not. And I think you definitely want to see that part, so make sure to watch until the end. And I'm also very excited to see what you guys think about this stock. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what does Dollar General do? Dollar General operates over 19,000 discount stores in 47 states, selling branded and private label products across a wide variety of categories. In the earnings report of March we see that net sales increased 17.9%. One of the more important numbers, same store sales, increase 5.7%, which is also very nice. Dollar General can easily generate more revenue by opening a new store, but to me the same store sale is very important. Operating profit increased 17%, which is also very nice, and EPS increased 15%, also looking really good. Dividends were increased to $0.59, up from $0.55 a share, so that's also very nice. For the full year 2023 outlook, Dollar General expects to deliver a net sales growth in the range of approximately 5.5 to 6%. Same store sales growth in the range of 3 to 3.5% and EPS to be in a range of 4 to 6% and share repurchases of approximately 500 million. And to be honest, these numbers are a bit disappointing. It's lower than the previous years in terms of growth numbers. The company plans to open 1050 new stores, 2000 remodeling and 120 relocations, which looks pretty interesting to me. So I'm really excited about the upcoming earnings report, since all analysis expect to miss on the earnings estimations. And now that we know a little bit more about the company, it's time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive multiple analysis every week. And also join my Discord channel for free to meet other people within the community and to talk about stock. It's completely free, so don't miss it out. Let's continue diving into the fundamentals. Dollar General is a 45 billion market cap company. PE ratio is at 17, which could indicate that they are undervalued right now. Later in this video, I will show you my three price targets for Dollar General, so make sure to watch until the end, because PE ratio is only telling a small part of the full story here. Revenue is at 39 billion and in this graph we see that the revenue went up really nice and steady. Over a longer period of time, margins are going up, but since 2021 margins are decreasing a bit. In the most recent quarter it's kinda steady. EPS is going up big time which is very nice. To me this looks pretty good. Price to sales ratio is at 1.25 right now. Over a longer period of time it's going up, which is something that I don't like. However, 1.25 is still a great number, so nothing to worry about for now. Price to book ratio is pretty much the same story. Nevertheless, keep an eye on the current number. I prefer a lower number here. Analysis expect double digit growth for the EPS after 2024. But in 2023 and 2024, it's expected to hit mid single digits. For the revenue, it's pretty much the other way around. 
they think to see double digit growth in 2023, but after that it's expected to see mid single digit growth numbers. Return on assets is sitting at 5.7%, which is below my 10% minimum. Return on equity looks really good. And the most important number, return on invested capital, is sitting at 12.4%, which is a really good number. Next to that, it's also above the 5 year average by a small margin. Nevertheless, it's still looking pretty good. Current ratio is at 1.29, which looks pretty decent to me. For this type of company, I prefer a number below 2. The thing that I like here is the fact that it's decreasing over a longer period of time. Total debt is sitting at 17 billion, and I prefer companies that can pay down at least a third of the total debt with the total cash position. Right now, total cash is sitting at 381 million, so they cannot pay down a big chunk of the total debt, which is something that I don't like. So it's very important that free cash flow is growing, since this is used to pay down debt of course, but also to buy back shares, pay dividends and a lot of things. And in here we see that free cash flow is going up quite nice and steady over a longer period of time. However, most recently free cash flow is having some problems. A thing that I love about this company are the shares outstanding. It's going down in the long run. It means when shares outstanding are decreasing, it increases your ownership in the company, increases the EPS, lowers the PE ratio and makes it easier to maintain and increase the dividends. And since we're talking about dividends anyways, dividend yield is sitting at 1.13% which is a decent number. Annual payout is at 2.36 dollars and payout ratio is at only 20%. I prefer 50% or lower, so right now they have roughly 80% left in cash to buy big shares, pay down debt, acquisitions, research and all other things. The 5 year growth rate is at almost 16%, which is a great number. On top of that they grew the dividend for 5 years in a row, which is also pretty nice. Payout ratio is a very important metric with dividends. It tells you if the dividends are safe. In here we see that over a longer period of time payout ratio is always between 14 and 20%, which is a really good number. In this graph we see the expected dividend in 2024 and 2025 and 2026. Of course this is an estimation and can be highly impacted by results, but it gives you a rough indication. We see mixed results and somehow analysis think dividends will be lower or similar to the current dividend, which doesn't really make sense to me, since they recently raised the dividend and payout ratio is at only 20% right now. Overall the dividends look pretty good to me. But how about the historical returns? I decided to compare dollar general stock with the overall market, in this case the S&P 500. Next to that I added one of the main competitors, Dollar Tree. On the 5 year chart we see that dollar general has beaten the S&P 500 big time with 125% return versus 64% return for the S&P 500, both including dividends. Dollar Tree performs similar to the S&P 500. On the one year chart it looks pretty different. Dollar General and the S&P 500 had a similar return, while Dollar Tree returned 19%. On the 6 month chart it's Dollar General that is seeing minus 18%, which is a lot of course. The S&P 500 and Dollar Tree are having the same return with 3%. On the 1 month chart it's again Dollar General with the lowest return, while Dollar Tree is having the highest return. So bottom line, Dollar General has beaten the S&P 500 and Dollar Tree big time in the long run, but most recently it doesn't look good for Dollar General. So how about some fundamentals compared to the other companies in this list? We see that these two companies are different in market cap, enterprise value and employees. Dollar General has a lower PE ratio and price to sales ratio looks pretty similar. Same story with the price to free cash flow. Revenue growth year over year is the highest at Dollar General, and so is the 5 year compound annual growth rate. The net income compound annual growth rate is the highest at Dollar Tree. Gross margin is pretty similar, but net income margin is a little higher at Dollar General. Free cash flow margin is also pretty similar, and return on total capital is a little bit higher at Dollar General. Both companies have quite some debt compared to the current cash position, so no winner here to me. And since Dollar Tree doesn't pay any dividend, Dollar General is automatically the winner here. 
Overall, I think Dollar General did a great job in most parts versus Dollar Tree. But is Dollar General stock a buy at current numbers? Well, let's check the three price targets that I created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the three price targets. Starting off with revenue growth. For the revenue growth I'm filling in 7%, 9% and 11%, since I think they will increase the revenue at the same number versus the historical averages. Next to that it's also based on the analysis expectations and the current outlook. Profit margin I'm filling in 6, 6.5 and 7%. For the free cash flow margin I'm filling in 4, 4.5 and 5%. For the PE ratio and the price to free cash flow, I'm filling in 16, 17 and 18. It's a big company with great fundamentals and there is still some growth left. However, I don't want to overpay for the growth. My desired annual return is 12.5% since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Right now dollar general stock is at $202. I hit analyze and we only see a few green numbers. We have a low price target of $122 to $183, which is a big drop from the current stock price. We have a mid price target of $165 to $238, and we have a high price target of $220 to $309. To me, the mid price target is the most justified here, which is a pretty big range of $165 to $238. And since they have some issues with the current free cash flow, I think I will focus on a higher discounted cash flow value. So my final price target will be $200 to $238. My final conclusion on this stock is that I really like the business. I have been following this company for a long time and they are finally coming close to my $200 price target that I had a while ago. I'm waiting for the upcoming earnings to see if fundamentals are going to change and what the stock price is going to do. If they miss on earnings and present some other disappointing news, I think this stock will go down big time. I wouldn't be surprised to see $180, which I love by the way. From a dividend point of view things look pretty good as well. However, I wouldn't mind a higher dividend yield. Again, with the stock price decreasing this might easily happen. So for now I'm just waiting for the upcoming earnings and Dollar General is on my buy list. But remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about the stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.